Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Eddie again, who's always happy to assist you with your home automation and professional needs. Today's video is all about simplifying an installation in a step-by-step -step method. So hopefully you've seen my previous video on my home automation setup, and uh, you notice that I'm a little bit impatient in having my smart home devices uh, speak with HomeKit. So I did a lot of research, and uh, for me, at least for me, the right way to go was HomeBridge as it emulates the iOS HomeKit API to third-party manufacturers, smart home devices, and creates a bridge between the two. We're very excited to show you how to install HomeBridge on a Synology DS218 Plus on a PC and on a Mac together with its user interface. It's very important to get there so that it makes it easy for you to install plugins and to configure the same without any multiple uh, manual commands or uh, tasks. But before we get into the installation, it's very important to give a big shout out to all the developers from the Homebridge community for their continuous support and upgrades to these fantastic plugins, and which makes this all possible. Without that, we would have had to shell a lot of money to buy those expensive uh, HomeKit devices. Let's dive in into the first installation of Homebridge on a Mac. All in all, there are seven steps, very easy, very straightforward. So let's get straight into it. Everything starts at the homebridge.io webpage. Over here, you will get a quick overview of what's the site all about. Find plugins, hardware and installation, and the people behind this platform. So to start up, uh, we need to go to the GitHub page, where is the, uh, you have the default repository, the community, and uh, the different, different installers for every platform. So since we are on the Mac OS, let's go to the Mac OS link. And all the steps are uh, here. We will be in the description as well. So the first thing you want to do is install uh, Node.js. There are two ways to do it. Uh, one is through the official uh, web page or through the NPM install uh, through the terminal command, which we will go through as well. So allow the package to be downloaded right click on it and run the installer very simple and once you have your node.js installed the next next thing we want to do is uh, execute the terminal command and that is by pressing the command space open up command terminal First command you want to run is the just to check your versions. And also execute an update for your node package manager. Step five is to execute the home bridge as well as the config UI command. This should uh, uh, download and install all of the packages onto your computer. On a successful installation, you should get uh, a no error feedback and uh, the last command is to execute the home bridge service and once that's done uh, you should copy and paste the link on into your web browser and you should see home bridge up and running for you do use the default username and password to get into the web page There you are, Homebridge successfully installed on Mac. So hopefully the installation has been a success for you and all of the information is in the description. So just in case you missed out on anything, it's there, you can save it uh, uh, for you as well. So what's coming up next? Where do we take this installation? Uh, we're gonna uh, use the uh, Weather Station plugin, a very simple plugin. All you gotta do is copy paste and you will get to understand the user interface, uh, the way we, we copy paste uh, keys 
and to get the whole plugin working for you correctly. And then we're going to use the Eve app to run a basic automation just using the Weather Station plugin without any uh, purchases of uh, special devices. After that, we're going to use the Plex plugin using if you have a, a media server that runs Plex, so we can run some automation just using the Plex plugin again without any additional uh, purchases or special smart home devices okay so hopefully i have been resourceful uh, with uh, my channel tech with eddie and if and if that's uh, doing that i really request you to hit that like button and uh, what motivates me is uh, hitting that subscribe button as well so until the next time bye bye thank you ciao